I am very welcome to this uh, arpeggio lesson. Uh, I will talk about seven chords uh, and their arpeggios here. Uh, I start from the G7 chord um, and the Mixolydian mode. It's the Mixolydian mode and with the G7. G7 arpeggio here, okay? That's a starting point. Uh, I use the G7 arpeggio to the G7 chord, of course, and uh, that, uh, if I want to be safe, this is sounding great. Uh, it works and it's the right tones to play, you can say, okay? But I also like to go a little bit beyond that uh, G7 chord arpeggios uh, and uh, sometimes I go up to the A7 chord arpeggios when playing G7 okay So it sounds a little bit. It's another sound in that, and it depends a lot of. You have the uh, from in the A7 chord arpeggios, and I refer to the G7 here now. You have the root in G, you have the ninth, and you have the augmented eleventh tone, and you have the thirteenth tone or sixth tone. That's the toes to the G, okay? And I think it's this one, I know it's this one, uh, the, uh, the sharp 11 tone that will get the tension in this arpeggio to the G, to the G7 chord. Uh, so it's another sound and another tension to the chord. Another uh, seven chord arpeggio you, you can use is the D minor major seven chord arpeggio. All right, so it, it's a kind of melodic minor mode here, but now I only play the arpeggio. tones you get here is uh, the sharp 11, uh, the perfect 5th, the 7th and the 9th tone to the G, okay. So these two arpeggios uh, I used to put in when I'm playing G7 and I'm playing G7 as a uh, modal playing here now. So it's a long time on the G7 chord and you will soloing on it. And when you have soloing for a while on G7 Mixolydian uh, and you have played uh, the G7 chord tones, arpeggios, uh, you will go a little bit further and you, you take the A7 and you take the D minor major 7 chord arpeggios and it gets that tension to the playing if you're doing in, in good timing and, and in a good rhythm in the playing. I will promise you that. I will show you how it can sound when I'm playing, of course. I'm doing it this way, you're doing it your way. But uh, I, I will show you and I start from the Mixolydian in G and I play the G7 chord tones. Then I go to the A7 and to the D mi uh, minor major 7 chord tones and I end up and go back to the Mixolydian. Uh, and G7 chord tones. Okay, so you will hear the difference in the in the sound here and the modes that's played, and the arpeggios, of course, that we played. Okay, it sounds like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
for watching this video and uh, their alternative to the arpeggio in G, the 7 chord arpeggio in G. Um, take your time and find out your own arpeggios to the to the chord that you're playing. Uh, and uh, as I said, this is a modal way and, and it can work in songs, it depends on uh, and open up your ear and you hear if it works or not in the song you're playing and the soloing you're doing. Uh, but if you play modal playing, uh, in this case to the G7 chord, uh, here these two alternative arpeggios uh, is great to use. and. Uh, Use them and try them and then go further in your own way and uh, find out other arpeggios or triads or uh, and so on. Um, I promise you, you will have fun with it. Great! I hope the sun is shining where you're living too. It's shining here and I will go out in, in the sun now and uh, take some rests and eat some good food here. Uh, but before I do that, I will thank you for watching this uh, video. Hope to see you again. Have a great time. Till then.